Hi y'all, I uh, got an unboxing today. Um, I ordered stuff from McFarland online. McFarland. Uh, it came in the mail, so let's see if I got it all. This box looks awful small because I ordered five things. Let's see. Well, maybe it is. Page Punchers, Nightwing, and the uh, Page Punchers Joker figure, Page Punchers Batman from Flashpoint, and Page Punchers Green Lantern. And then I also ordered a uh, McFarlane Gold Label Collection Captain Cold, which this was exclusive to McFarlane. So far, I still have all, I got all the three inch ones out so far. I'm just going to stick them in this way. These have got to go downstairs. I gotta eat breakfast yet. I gotta mop the floor. I gotta pick up Gigi. Easter went well. We went out to dinner. I ordered some supplies for the comic books. Bought some comic books off of a girl on Facebook. Uh, after I, I bought those Batman books, I realized, I mean the Batgirl, I'm still missing one Batgirl book. One C. Thought I had it. I didn't. So I'm still missing one variant. So I'm like, I can't shoot the video for that. I thought I had it. I don't. So I'm like disgusted. So for that whole series, I'm missing one book now. And of course, it's a 1 in 25 variant. And the two people on eBay that got it want an arm and a leg for it. The book should be no more than $50. I checked the price guide. Comic Book Realm, you know, says it, it's worth this much. And everybody on eBay, the most expensive one on eBay, the guy wants a hundred and some dollars for it. And everybody, everybody's got it great and they want like 300 bucks for it. I'm like, these people with these buy it now prices, they make up prices as far as I'm concerned. Because in the day, if it was a 1 in 25 variant, it was 25 bucks. If it was a 1 in 50 variant, it was $50. It was 1 in 100, it was 100 bucks. This stuff now, all of it's one in one, 100. Oh, it's 300 bucks. If it's graded, it's more. It's all BS. Because it's like crazy. It's like they make up prices as they go. Because I, I look at it this way. When they were selling the, like, you know... The first appearance of Snake Eyes or Storm Shadow. Oh, a raw version, you can get 150 you know, 150 dollars. I bought my copy for 66 bucks, and everybody was supposedly getting a hundred and a half for it. And I went online on auction and I managed to get mine for 66 bucks. And mine is in really nice shape. It just goes to show you it's a bunch of crap. You know, it's what Willie seems willing to buy for. You know, that's the bottom line. It's like when I was selling the first appearance of Boba Fett. I had my copy and I had like three other copies. I sold one on, on eBay. I sold Anthony his copy for five bucks. I sold Kelly Ben one for her son Gavin, five bucks. You know, 
I gave them a break on it. And then I sold them my other copy. I got like 40, 40 bucks for it on eBay or 30 some or 40 bucks. So I can't even remember now. And, you know, now it's like ridiculous. And it's like, you know. It's nuts. It's like, it's like all it is is like, it just, it just all reminds me of the Mark McGuire rookie card. $20. $60. Bucks. $150. It's like, you know, and then, you know, look at it 20 years down the road. I'll be back down to $20. It's all hype. It's all hype and, you know, market speculation. It's like, then it'll go back down to what it was originally, you know, what it was because the whole hoopla will be all over with it and it'll go back down to what it was for years. Because people won't want to pay it. And once all this market and stuff dies, that's how it'll be. Because eventually people get tired of it and people lose interest in it. My wife's driving me nuts to just quit collecting everything. And even my buddies, when they come over, like, you know, you're running out of room. Where are you going to go with everything? And I'm like, you know, they got a point. Because I am running out of room. <laughs> you know what the sad thing is? It's like, you know, I do enjoy, I do enjoy collecting. You know, here's the thing about it. The real Ghostbusters. Why do you got to constantly keep making the same figures? Or oh, oh, reissues, reissues, reissues. How many times did Toys R Us reissue G1 Transformers? And how, why, why do they constantly keep re reissuing stuff? I just don't understand it. I just wish they wouldn't do it. Same thing with like the He-Man figures. The G.I. Joes. Like I, I think that all the G.I. Joe figures, the prices that people are selling for now is ridiculous. I, I think they're way overpriced. I think they're... I think the bubble of that is like ridiculous. I'm like, I know when I a couple of years ago, you know, you you would be able to pick up GI Joe figures for like less than ten dollars a piece. Now that they want, I, I see them selling loose, two hundred bucks a figure. I'm like, you gotta be freaking joking me. I mean, seventy five dollars loose missing missing pieces. I'm like, come on, that's what people want online. And I'm like, you gotta be not, you gotta be smoking crack. But, I don't want to take up any more people's valuable time. But, that's it for this edition. As always, I thank you guys for viewing and subscribing. King Joe out.